Hey there, Christian Walsh, Cobalt Banker Wire Associates here with a very important topic. Small business owners, you need to find money right now. We've got five tips. So this is Christian Walsh, Cobalt Banker Wire Associates. We specialize in multifamily, single family, and leasing. And we happen to be small business owners as well. As a 1099 uh, contractor under Cobalt Banker, uh, we're a small business. <laughs> and so in addition to having a small team that I support, an amazing team, thanks Michelle and some of the others out there, I also have to keep food on the table for my four kids and my wife. So got a lot of people to support. So this is a topic that uh, is very important to me as a small business owner. And in fact, uh, several of these I've actually taken advantage of already. Just want to spread the word uh, because it amazes me still. People are suffering right now. They need money and they don't know where to turn. But here's five things that you can do that you can pretty much get money uh, maybe by the end of the week, uh, if not a, a week or two. So let's run through the list. Uh, number one is the Paycheck Protection Plan loan from the CARES Act uh, that you'll get through the uh, SBA. So today is the 12th of May and we're on the second round and there's money still there. So I personally missed out on the first round. I had applied then, but it, the money didn't come through. So I was really hoping it would come through on the second round and lo and behold, it did. So what's great about this is potentially forgivable and you can literally get this money in days. I know someone who applied and filled out the paperwork. It's an easy process. You really need to have your taxes done, whether filed or just a, a draft of them. Once you get to that, the paperwork is a piece of cake. So what I recommend is you apply to some of the online uh, lenders. So Bluevine, PayPal, Cabbage.com, th those will be your easiest routes to go. They're still accepting uh, applications as of right now. And don't worry, I'm going to go through a lot of stuff and give you a lot of links and all the links will be down below. And I want comments. So if you've had good experiences or bad experiences with any of these, let me know. So that is the PPP loan that's potentially forgivable and it can be two and a half times your monthly payroll. And for a subcontractor, it's, uh, it, it can still add up to pretty good money. So it's up to $100,000 of annual income. Uh, divide that by 12 and then do two and a half times. So that's money that can certainly help out. So number two, for the first time ever, there is unemployment uh, insurance for gig workers, 1099 subcontractors, so the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, PUA, was set up by the CARES Act as well. And each state has been working on rolling out uh, exactly how it's gonna work. California finally did. They opened it up on the 28th of April. So they've been going for a couple weeks now. Uh, kudos to them for doing something that have never been done in history. Uh, so a lot, they put a lot of work into that. So it's a very easy process. So if you're not making any money, but last year you were making money in your business, it's safe to say that you would qualify for this unemployment. So you're gonna to go to the EDD's website and you're going to apply there. It's a quick approval process and the money should be to you in a week or two. So that's number two. So number three, California has an unclaimed funds website. The state controller maintains it and you'll find the link below Go visit that site and you search by name and you will find that there may be some unclaimed money. I found some for me. Search for your spouse. I found some for my wife. Found some for relatives. Search for your kids. My son did uh, commercials for a short while and you get royalty checks when that happens. And for some reason, some of those checks didn't find us, but they went to the state controller. So there was money there for my son, but don't tell him because he'll spend it all on V-Bucks. So we're not gonna let him know that's there. But anyway, the unclaimed funds is another hot tip and worth checking out. And uh, you should have the money in a couple weeks. Could be small, could be a lot. Uh, you might find as much as you'd find in your couch cushions, or maybe there's a couple grand sitting there. Who knows, but we all could use that right now. So then number four is gonna be local loans and grants. So this you're gonna to have to do some of your own digging. It's gonna depend on obviously where you live, but I'm gonna encourage you to visit your local city's website. Some cities have set up programs. For example, Anaheim voted uh, $6 million in funds to set those aside for small business owners and they're gonna give easy loans for that. Uh, check with your local chamber of commerce. I see a lot of great info uh, in my neck of the woods on the Newport Beach and Corona Del Mar Chamber of Commerce. 
And that's also a great time to connect with other small business owners if you haven't. Then uh, another good one is uh, online. So Facebook is actually offering a small business grants right now for Facebook advertising. It's for very specific zip codes, but I encourage you to search that out. Again, links below and see if it applies in your zip code. Every little bit will help. So number five isn't so much gonna give you money, but it's gonna save you money. So number five is co-marketing with other small businesses. I've talked about doing it for years and I finally did it. I said, that's it, now's the time. So for example, I, I send out uh, monthly letters to income property owners in several local cities. So I teamed up with my uh, friends at Income Property Advisors and they specialize in Delaware statutory trusts 1031 exchange vehicle. So they, we work together. They're in my letter and they're, we put them in the envelope and we split costs. So obviously uh, you have to follow uh, any guidelines that apply to your industry, but uh, now is the time to do some co-marketing. And then another one would be social media. So just help each other out in social media and uh, spread the word for other industries. I know a lot of us are, are helping out restaurants and, and things like that on social media. So just keep doing that stuff. But uh, these are five things that we're hoping can uh, either get you some quick cash or help save you some quick cash. We know it's a tough time. This is the time we got to get through now, uh, kind of the bottom here. And then wh whatever it is, if it's a V or a long curve, whatever it is, this is the tough time to get through. But uh, we're going to keep on fighting. We're going to get beyond this and move into uh, later in the year and next year. So please uh, put your comments below, subscribe, reach out for our email newsletter, and uh, please let us know how life's going. We're here to help. Christian Walsh, 949-677-3466. Thanks.